First question, do you think there should be a Black Panther 3 movie? Let me know in the comment section before we go any farther in the video. Welcome to the Chaos Multiverse, everybody. Chaos and Happy New Year, depending on when you're watching this video. It's New Year's Eve as of the making, but if you watch it in 2023, I wish all of you uh, the best 2023 health, happiness, wealth, all of it. I hope you have an amazing year. Thank you for all the support on the channel throughout the last two years, and as you can see, we are now dedicated to really growing this channel with consistent content, so thank you for watching. And the big question is, will there be a Black Panther 3? It's not the big question, it's one of the big questions for uh, the MCU, and we actually have an answer. We actually have a pretty definitive answer, but the question is, what that answer entails and when that answer entails. So, Ryan Coogler has always been on... Uh, the side of uh, he wasn't really sure when he made the first Black Panther. He definitely, definitely had some apprehension completing the second Black Panther after uh, what happened in the passing of Chadwick Boseman, but he did it. And he was able to continue the fandom exactly how it had to be. It's not just Black Panther. It's also Wakanda. It's, it's a lot. There's a lot. There was a lot resting on his shoulders with that. And of course, before the movie's even over, before the movie goes to the box office, before the numbers come in, the question is, will there be a Black Panther 3? And a lot of people thought Ryan Coogler would probably say, you know what, I'm good. But he actually went the opposite way. And I quote, I feel blessed I've had the opportunity to work on these movies. When I got asked to do the first one, it was a moving train. I thank God every day I was able to jump on it, meet these people, these actors, and to meet Chadwick during some of the last years of his life. And then he said... As long as they will have me for future Wakanda-focused projects, he would be there. I'll do it as long as folks will have me, but I think it's bigger than me or Joe. Between the first and second movie, we made $2 billion at the box office, which is what matters to corporations. He's right. That's what moves the wheel for corporations is dollars. So, I hope that continue. If it continues, I hope everybody are still all about making movies about Wakanda long after we were gone. That tells me right there... That's a green light for Black Panther 3. And I find it hard in any sense to make the argument that Kevin Feige, Disney, Marvel, whoever wouldn't want a Black Panther 3. Not just for the money. I know it's about the money at the top of the food chain, but just the continuation of the saga, the legacy, everything. Black Panther is in its own special spot when it comes to the MCU. It kind of stands alone uh, in the sense that it doesn't need the surrounding continuity or anything connecting to it. So, to me, that's a Black Panther 3 all but confirmed. Now, the question is, when do we get it? We're fresh off Black Panther 2, which means looking at the schedule for Phase 5 and Phase 6, there's really no way that we get a Black Panther 3 before that. Would it make sense? Possibly. I mean, uh, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen Black Panther 2, Shiri is now the Black Panther, and if you watch the very end of the movie... You know that the Black Panther, well, T'Challa's lineage and line will carry on, right? So uh, you could shoehorn that in before Secret Wars goes down, but I really don't feel that's going to happen. Do I feel that Black Panther will have a presence in Avengers 5 or 6 or both, or in maybe some, some small roles in future ones coming up, like Ironheart and things like that? Absolutely. I do, especially with Wakanda on the board and everybody about Vibranium and now everybody's going to be about Adamantium when it comes to Captain America with New World Order and the Thunderbolts. So yes, I feel they're going to be bits and pieces and I think that's how they're going to give everybody their Black Panther uh, kind of uh, just their fix. They, they have to have Black Panther, right? But they're not going to be able to do a Black Panther 3 before the end of Phase 6. I don't see how that happens at all. So here's my theory. You get a... a Steady drip feed of Black Panther, Wakanda, and everything going on throughout the movies I just talked about. And in that time, you grow the son of T'Challa. And then by the time we get to Phase 7 and the dust settles, whatever that may be, then you have a more grown-up, teenage possibly, uh, early 20s, late teens, son of T'Challa to take on the mantle and start new adventures and continue uh, the legacy of Black Panther into Phase 7 because I know Phase 6 is what it's all about. Secret Wars is the culmination, but everybody's going to be asking what's happening now when after, after we get through Secret Wars. You know they are, and then they got to come up with a whole nother saga, which I think we'll have to do with X-Men, Galactus, stuff like that. But 
that's a story for another day. So yes, I think Black Panther 3 is happening. No, I do not think it's happening in the multiverse saga. Yes, I think Black Panther will still play significant roles throughout phase five and six. Let me know what you think and I'll see you soon.